Motor Trend's Car of the Month in 1973, this Bugazi 1972 is a uniquely styled motor car created for the person who has everything. It was created by George Barris of North Hollywood, California, based on a design by Harry Bradley, who designed the original Hot Wheels cars that came out in 1968. The Bugazi starts out as a stock Mark IV Lincoln with the body almost totally resculptured, detached headlamps, functional running boards, and thicky, thickly insulated vinyl half roof are then added. Contoured seats and expensive glove suede are put in the car. In the front also is a television. In the back, a walnut vanity, side mirrors, and a complete bar with English pewter glasses. The paint consists of 30 coats of hand rub lacquer. In 1972, this car cost $29,000. Remember, a Rolls-Royce cost $19,000 in 1972. This was the most expensive American car made, and you could actually go to a Lincoln car dealership and buy the car. Dayton 100 spoke wheels with knockoffs. The rear tire is actually put inside the trunk, and it's designed slightly different than the stock car. Six inches are added to its overall length and has 24 karat gold leaf on the center bar. The interior fit for a king. How many times do you see a car with a marble interior? Some people say this looks more fitting for a bathroom than an interior of the car and I think I see what they're talking about. Well. Most cars do need oriental carpet if you want to make it a little bit more upscale. I'd agree with that. As well as you need that TV set and the 8-track player. Lots of other little special buttons and zabs and tells you the humidity and etc. And a couple little instruments that we have no idea what they are used for. Every car needs its reading lights in the back. Its special area to check your makeup. And a nice little area for your bar made out of pewter. This car rides wonderfully well and has, as you can see, the inscription, the Bugazi by Barris Customs. George Barris, of course, famous for making the cars for the Munsters TV show, as well as for the uh, Batmobile. Heavy two-door car, rides well, and has the special Barris Custom signature on the side. Let's take one more look around. I know you don't see this car on the road every day. For the 1972, this car was first used as a show car and traveled across the country and was shown. I hope you enjoy it. And next time one drives by you on the road, yes, that was a Bugazi.